Now, being an election year, 2023 witnessed the completion of construction of major public projects as federal and state governments strive to use such as campaign tools. Correspondent Abdullahi Mohammed reports that the sector was better for it, but more need to be done, and already the new people at the helm of affairs are warming up to that. It's been a year full of greys with breathtaking infrastructure built across bridges. Like the Onicha Second Bridge, it's a monumental project, very critical to the economic development of this country. The Weto Bridge uh, in Nasarawa and Beno Estate, very critical to the economic development of this country. The dualization of Kefi, Kwanga, Latvia, Makuri Road is a big project and very critical. The 2023, if you could remember very well, is an election year. So naturally there are a lot of dislocation in policies vis-a-vis uh, -vis the activities of the construction industry also got affected because uh, the insecurity, the tension. Even with that, a lot is left to the grass and a civil engineer with an eye for high quality finishing takes charge of the works ministry. Without much ado, he hits the road with his sleeves up, conducting thorough assessment. The good, the bad and ugly he saw, and the new sheriff rang the new bell for a more reliable method of road construction in Nigeria. My own is that Nigerians must get value for their taxes, for their commitments that we must minimize the sufferings of Nigerians. And let me finally say that road is everything. But those who execute these contracts are more concerned about shortfalls in budgets. So what I would suggest the president, being a, a very smart president, articulated, visionary, a miracle maker, I'll advise him to set up a presidential committee to look into these abandoned projects, provide enough funds to the committee for the particular abandoned projects so that the presidential committee will focus on that issue. I'm sure if we can achieve only that, I think Nigeria will be better. And for some of those who came so and conquer in the construction industry, public-private partnership is the way to go, they say. And the answer is, the private sector can only come into uh, infrastructure development under PPP if there are clear guidelines. If the law, the regulatory framework, the legal framework is very clear so that if any investment done by the private sector, if there's any breach, there will be the opportunity to redress it. That is not clear now. So the, uh, the government is depending on the budget, the annual budget. And today, the whole budget of the Federal Ministry of Works on a road, is not, I don't think it's up to 500 billion. And therefore, something has to give. And that is the reform in the road sector. And that reform is critical. The industry will open its arms to greater investment opportunities with guarantee in road maintenance. In Abuja, Abdullah Mohammed, NT News.